So in today's video, guys, we're going to be discussing timeshare sales pitch in Las Vegas, why it's not a scam. And I'm going to teach you how you can make that pitch your bitch and take full advantage of everything that they're offering you. Stick around. For even more quality content, please consider subscribing to our channel where we have a plethora of videos under our mini playlist from food reviews to hotel reviews all the way up to our most popular series, which is our Vegas videos. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share the videos. Thanks for tuning in. This is the second most highest thing I hear about is being considered a scam in Las Vegas. This one, honestly, 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 gets my go. And that is the timeshare representatives. People treat those folks as if they are just terrorists. And listen, timeshare isn't for everybody. Some people love it, some people hate it. Some people think it's a scam. That's your personal opinion, however, I'm here to speak up for the people that are out there just trying to offer you the opportunity to go to the presentation. They're in no way, shape, or form are they scammers because anything that they promise you, they're going to deliver on. They're not forcing you to do anything. They're not wasting your time. You agreed to go and they give you what you asked for. Here's how to look at it again. It's all about perspective because we've sat through several and we didn't buy, but we got every gift we were promised, okay? So this is how I would look at it. Let's say you're walking down the street, you get approached, hey, would you like to go to a show? And you say, sure, I would like to go to a show. And they got a ticket to, I don't know, let's say, it's not usually gonna be something like, oh, or anything like that, one of the big shows, but let's say it's a good show. Let's say it's something like, uh, I don't know, Vegas, the show, which is a fabulous show, by the way. If you haven't caught that one, you really should, sidebar. Okay, anyway, so they say, okay, we're gonna give you two tickets to go see Vegas, the show tonight. Um, and we're gonna give you a you know $50 diner card to go eat at this buffet. And on top of that, we'll give you a hundred dollars in credits to play at this casino uh in order to get it you just simply have to sit in on our presentation it's 90 minutes or it's two hours or however long they say it's going to be right and we're going to give you a free buffet when do you want to go morning or afternoon so you pick morning they say great we're going to send a shuttle to pick you up uh we're going to give you breakfast and then we're going to start the presentation so let's say they pick you up at 9 a.m now, from not you get there, let's say nine. Uh, you get there about nine fifteen. Then from nine fifteen to nine thirty, you wait to be seen. They finally see you. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. Let's go eat breakfast. So now you go to the buffet that they have for you, and let's say it takes thirty minutes to eat. So you've already been with them for an hour in your mind. You've already been with them for one hour. Here's what you do. Once you're done eating and they sit down, they say, okay, we're going to start our presentation. You can actually say to them, all right, are we starting the presentation right now? They say, yes, you can pull out your phone or your watch and you can start a timer because you only owe them the amount of time that basically you, you, that they told you 90 minutes or two hours. So you can set a timer. And at the end of that timer, whether they're finished talking or not, you have now fulfilled your end of the bargain. You can absolutely leave. Say, I don't want to hear anything else. I mean, be polite about it, but you can say, I don't want to hear anything else. It's been 90 minutes. I told you I will listen for 90 minutes. I did that. I'm ready to go. And they will allow you to leave. They will get your gifts for you and everything. Um, you'll sign a few pieces of paper and that's it. Here's how I look at it. If you add up the total of whatever gifts are, and then you divide that by the amount of time that you spent with them, Let's say you started at, let's count it from the time you got picked up, 9 o'clock, right? So you ate breakfast uh, and everything, that took till 10 o'clock. 
Then the 90 minutes, we're talking about what? What's that? 1130. And then they say, hey, let's do a quick tour. The tour may take another 30 minutes. So now that's 12 o'clock. So you've been there from 9 a.m. to 12 o'clock. That's 10, 11, 12. That's three hours. Let's say you stay till one. Let's add on another hour. Four hours, right? But they gave you $200 worth of gifts. Divide $200 by four. What are we talking about? You got paid per hour. $50 an hour to sit there, to listen, to eat breakfast, and to go explore and view a very nice property. No sweat off your back, right? If you have the time to dedicate to it, do it. We've done it plenty of times and enjoyed all those gifts. But if you don't have the time to do it, then yeah, I guess it would be a waste of your time. But they don't force you to and you're not required to do it, okay? So simply, if you don't want to go, be polite about it. Just no thank you. I'm not interested in it. I appreciate it. And keep going. They have never stopped us when we said, nah, I'm good. But we continue to walk by. No one's ever grabbed us by our arm physically, made us listen to. No, none of that. So you may be asking yourself, why am I making this video? Or even why are you listening? It's because honestly, I hear it all the time and it bothers me. These are people just trying to make a living. We all are people just trying to make a living. So it's about perspective. Put yourself in their shoes. You know, imagine you on your job doing what you're getting paid to do, trying to earn a decent living, and someone's telling you that you're a scam artist and you're just trying to make money. I'm like, I get it. Listen, if you don't want to do it, don't. But please, we have got to change that vocabulary we have got to stop calling these people scam artists etc they're out there all day it's you know vegas can get to be 120 degrees if you're the timeshare representative that's just doing your job and people are treating you like you're the scum of the earth again i salute you i support you i respect you hopefully you and all your friends will now come and Watch my videos, subscribe to my channel. And if you're just a person who constantly call these people scam artists and things of that nature, I don't mean to offend you. I hope I didn't. But I just really hope that now maybe you have a different perspective on the matter. If you don't, just kindly walk by. But whatever you do, please, don't call them scam artists. They're not. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one. Smith out.